I love to travel. It opens you up to new experiences, allows you to learn from different cultures, and it pushes you outside your comfort zone. And I hate travel. You're pulled from your daily routines, it's so much more difficult to stay healthy, and it pushes you outside your comfort zone. We just got shit on by some birds. For better or worse, over the past five years, I've traveled a lot. And I'll be honest, ever since I started traveling, I have been terrible at eating healthy and working out consistently. So on this trip to Sydney, I want to finally get it right and leave feeling like I haven't broken any of my good habits. Let's see how this works out. Bye. Take care. Thank you, bye. Bye. 15 and a half hour flight done, heading through customs. How are you? So if there's one thing that's true about travel and one of the reasons why I've probably never been able to make my habits stick while on the road, it's because your routines are different. You don't have access to the same kind of equipment and gym memberships that you do when you're at home. So for this trip, I'm gonna have to think a little bit differently. My schedule this week is unpredictable and we have a lot that we want to pack in. You might have a similar experience while traveling. You're spending time with family, catching up with friends, going to weddings, finding new restaurants, beaches, and before you know it, you're packing your bag and heading home. I wanted to make sure that the days didn't get away from me and I was too busy to prioritize my health. So I woke up before 6 a.m. every day to fit in a workout. So it's just a little bit past 6 a.m. here in Sydney and I'm on my way down to Lavender Bay to get my morning workout in. So I don't know about you guys, but there's something about working out in public to me that's super embarrassing. Maybe that's just me, but something you gotta get over if you wanna stay fit while traveling. One great incentive of waking up early. If you get embarrassed about working out in public, the only other people awake are other people working out. So now I only have to be embarrassed about filming myself working out in public. So I'm gonna be working out two muscle groups per day, about two to three exercises per day. My idea is that I wanna keep it to around 30 minutes, but I know that if I say I'm gonna get up in the morning and work out for 30 minutes, it probably means that I'm gonna stay a little bit longer, maybe even an hour. On day one, I worked out my triceps and chest. I started the workout with four sets of push-ups to failure. You can spread your arms wide to target your chest or narrow to hit your triceps. Next, I did four sets of dips to failure. This can be done on a bench, ledge, or chair. I finished up each workout with a few sets of crunches to failure and a little bit of cardio. Take your workouts like this snail in Natalie's backyard. If you rush through your exercises or push yourself too hard, you could get hurt or burn yourself out. You're not training for Mr. Olympia. Slow down. Save your intense workouts for when you get home. So I gotta admit, the, the walk to and from the workout is the workout itself. A lot of stairs, a lot of hills. <laughs> That's why I try not to push myself too hard or else I'll never make it back home. On day two, I focused on my biceps and back. I did six sets of pull-ups to failure, three with a wide grip which targeted my back, and three with a narrow grip that focused on my biceps. If you don't have a pull-up bar, you can use a rail to pull yourself up. Before you ever get to wherever it is that you're going, uh, do a little bit of research. If you can, ask some locals. Nat's dad told me about this location here where they have some workout equipment outside, which is really cool. So you can do your crunches right here. They've got a leg press, back rows, and they've even got a couple pull-up bars here. So that's super helpful because then you don't have to have as gritty of a workout as you might uh, working out on benches, stairs, and all that kind of stuff. So this has helped me out a ton. On day three, I worked out my legs. This one leg deadlift looks stupid, but it challenged my balance and wore me down after three sets. Next, I did some lunges and squats, varying the width of my legs. Again, it doesn't look like much, but when done slow and steady, it's a really good workout. I repeated this three-day routine for the duration of our trip, and besides travel days, I only missed one workout, the morning after our friend's wedding. I'll let you guess why. Instead of working out every day, you could also replace it with hikes or walks. 
It's a great way to experience more of the place you're visiting. It's something we've done in the past, but we're a little bit too busy to fit into this trip. Whew. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> now to tackle the big question. How do you eat healthy while traveling? My friend Nate Green is a super talented fitness expert that gave me some advice before the trip that brought some consistency to my diet. If you're trying to eat healthy while on the road, simplify your diet by picking one meal to eat every day. On day one, shortly after we landed in Sydney, we went to the grocery store for the week. For my one meal every morning, I opted to make a breakfast burrito. So we picked up chicken, beans, salsa, wraps. Oh yeah, eggs, I forgot all about eggs. Eggs and rice. Stacking my two healthy habits together in the morning allowed me to make time every day, eliminated excuses, and the meal helped to fuel the following workout. In my friend Nate's words, eating the same meal every day can eliminate decision fatigue, help you stay consistent, and give you the freedom to try new foods. I like that last part the most. Yes, there's a lot of great healthy food available in Sydney, like your sushi roll, flat white, and avo toast. <laughs> but I wanted to indulge a little bit and experience the many sides of Australian cuisine, like meat pies, chicken feet at Yum Cha, a lamington, a picnic bar. Karma? <laughs> Peanuts and chocolate. <laughs> it's my favorite. Maybe even a couple sausage rolls. I think this might be French. It's like a croissant. Get, like get a ham croissant. Fuck out of here. <laughs> but my real secret weapon? Natalie's mom makes the best fresh squeezed juice. I'm very energetic and I'm extremely healthy. And I think, I really think it's the juice. I've been having it for the past 15, 20 years. Yep. And I really, really think it's the juice. Perfect. So good. Yeah, and then build it really like good. One class every day. The key to building these habits, I wasn't as interested in gaining strength as much as I was with maintaining my fitness and feeling good every day. It's more important what you do every day than what you do every once in a while. So small healthy steps in the right direction will go much further than trying to get the maximum amount of gains. Not only was I able to get my workout in, I was able to feel more energized and excited for the day. It gave me energy throughout the day. I was also able to have this little experience in and of itself. So when, I, when I'm traveling, oftentimes it's hard to get time to myself, to be alone, to you know, not meditate, but just to be able to relax and not always have to be talking with somebody and always have to be running around and doing something. So it ended up becoming like my time, my own personal space to be able to get a workout in. And like, this view is fucking amazing. Like, it doesn't get any better than this. On most trips, I feel sluggish, tired, and gross. But as we head to the airport on our way back to LA, I can honestly say that I've never felt better while traveling. I wasn't as stressed, I had energy that lasted throughout the day, and I didn't feel like travel was getting in the way of my health. I'll leave you with a few final words from Nate. Most people have trouble sticking to healthy habits because they think they always have to be perfect. But that's just an excuse. Whether you want to exercise consistently, start meditating, or make any other change in your life, success often comes down to consistently following a stupidly simple process. Thanks for watching. If you want to get exclusive videos that I don't release anywhere else and help to support this ad-free YouTube channel, go to patreon.com slash Thanks for your support.